morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, not sure what time it is when you watch this, though, but want to kind of give you guys an update. Some of you know um, what's going on. Some do not. Um, well, a whole lot do not. But I kind of want to uh, make this publicly known just so, um, you know, there's no... I don't. I don't want. I don't want to repeat this forty five million more times. All right. So, um, yesterday. So today is Sunday morning. On the, I think it's the tenth. Nope, six. Um, today's the six, October six, and so um, two thousand twenty four. If that matters or not. Anyway, so I'm trying to be, I'm be quick to try to be. Um, so yesterday being Saturday, woke up Saturday morning as always, um, went to the gym, had a great workout actually. I usually only do like, you know, if you follow me on Facebook, 30 to 45 minutes. Saturdays usually go a little longer, uh, maybe maybe an hour or maybe 45 minutes to an hour. But yesterday I was just in a zone, man. Yesterday was chest, arm, and abs, or chest, arm, abs, and legs. And I was just in a zone, man, not going to front with you. Uh, <laughs> I was there for about an hour, hour and a half, hour 40, just, just, I'm lifting heavy, lifting, going longer reps, it was like, I just, I just, it was a good workout day, man, it really was, in all honesty, and I didn't do too, I didn't, I pushed myself, but I didn't push myself in a way where I thought there was any damage, you know what I'm saying, I didn't, I didn't feel any kind of extra to it, anything, right, so, um, I left there, left the gym, Went and grabbed grab me something to eat. Um, went home, um, hanging out, and then um, as soon as I finished eating, like my stomach felt, I don't know, I felt weird. And I have a um, called an os called an osteopathy oste that thing there uh, meeting on Monday with my doctor. I'm 48, man, so that's how I gotta I gotta I gotta get that done, and so. I'm like, all right, cool. And, you know, immediately went to the bathroom and used the bathroom. And I was in there for a minute. Like, it was a hot minute. And so, so much, so long that when I got out, I was just drained. And I've tried to be graphic. Please forgive me. I was just drained, man. And so I went and laid down in the bed. And I ended up sleep taking a nap for, like, an hour and some change. Then when I got up, um, I started to clean up the house and everything. And I went into the laundry room and the, everybody's, you know, running around the house being everybody. And I'm sweeping up the laundry room. So I just put some clothes in the washer or the drawer, sorry. And so um, I'm sweeping up the laundry room. And I, when I came, when I've been down to you know, use a dustpan, when I stood up, um, like the world was spinning. And I thought, I thought maybe I stood up too fast, right? And I was just like, you know, okay, this is wild, but all right, cool. Uh, it's not cool, but you know, and then I realized I hadn't taken my cholesterol medicine in a while. Yes, I'm that old. Uh, I hadn't taken my cholesterol medicine in a while, so I'm thinking, all right, cool. Well, you know, I need to go get a refill of that. Uh, so I've called, it's been like it's been about a week, maybe two weeks. And so I did a call in for the, uh, a week and a half. I did a call in for the cholesterol medicine and they was like, you know, uh, it has to be doctor approved. I called my doctor, of course, Saturday, then I'd open. So they're like, hey, um, she goes basically, and we had a great talk, but in a nutshell, she said, just go to the ER. Um, I'm sorry, the, the answering, answering service answer, answering nurse. And because it's Saturday, they can't do a refill. Um, so she said, hey, go to the ER and um, just or walk in clinic or whatever and just tell them pretty much, you know, you want to get um, looked at, but, you know, see if they can fill up your cholesterol medicine. I'm like, all right, bet. <clears throat> and so I get in the car and I go um, to the hospital. And I'm sitting there and they, I tell them what happened. Uh, and they take me to the, to the little, you know, side room and they do an EKG on me and, you know, everything's cool. Lady was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not a heart doctor, but you know, from what I, I've been here long enough, what I see looks like your heart's fine. Like, so, you know, you should be out soon enough, soon enough. I'm like, all right, bet. Go back to the waiting room and then guy calls him back and says, hey, we'll take some blood. I'm like, all right, cool. Go take my blood and, you know, the the nurse guy at the front desk who came, he came to the um to the um to the back part, and was basically like, yeah, he's a healthy young man. He works out regularly. Um, you know, I think 
and his EKG came back fine. I'm um, pretty sure you're gonna find his blood work fine. Everything's cool, you know. So when he's done with him, you can probably just let him go. Like, all right, bet. And so um, they took the blood, and then as he's taking the blood, another nurse who I hadn't met before, um, this gentleman comes and says, "Hey, when you're done with him, we're gonna take him um, back to the uh, other to a room, basically." And I'm like, "It's weird." All right, cool. And so um, we go into the room, sitting in the room. And then they do another EKG on me and take some more blood. I'm like, that's weird. Two EKGs and two things of blood, but all right, fine. And so um, the doctor comes in shortly after that and says, hey, so um, tell me what happened. So I just told the whole story. And I'm still just like, you know, I have my bottle, man. I'm like, I just need to get this refilled, man. I'm just freaking just go ahead and just get this done. I can slide out. I gotta, um, the family was going to go down to downtown to the... Um, Hispanic heritage um, and so I'm just like yo I'm, I gotta get with the fam we gotta you know we gotta go and she goes um well we're, uh, we're gonna keep you overnight and I was like why and she said um we think you had a heart attack and I'm like uh I'm sorry she said yeah we think you had a heart attack um basically my levels uh was up really high um and so um they were really concerned my EKG readings, sorry, was up pretty high. And they think it's there's a heart attack. Um, I said, it didn't feel like a heart attack. I said, I don't know what a heart attack feels like. I said, but you know, what you hear in the movies, what you see, whatever, whatever, wasn't nothing like that. So I don't really understand why you would consider it to be a heart attack. And she said that um, if anything, it might've just been some blockage, might not have been an actual heart attack, but just some blockage or whatever, whatever. And I'm like, okay. And so um, I'm, I kind of fought it, like, you know, I. I really just think that, you know, we're overreacting. I think just my cholesterol, I just need to, you know, get that taken care of and I'll be all right. And she's like, yeah, we could do that. She said, but Mr. Noon, I think really, you know, you had a mild heart attack or whatever the term, medical term would be. And so um, we need to take you, we, 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 need, we need to spend the night. I'm like, crap, <laughs> I don't want to be in here, man. So um, brought me upstairs to sixth floor where I'm at and Basically, I took more blood, did another EKG, um, and yeah, excuse me, but yeah, this is where I'm at. I am, well, I can't show you. Can't flip the camera around because it's weird, but long story short, well, hold on to this. So, yep, this is my room. That's the bed. See the bed right there? Bed and the TV. Ow! Sorry. They got um, me hooked up to... Uh, this little box thing here with cords that go up into my chest. Um, basically making sure is this thing still works. It is not. Battery has died. That's hilarious. The battery has died. <laughs> and a lady told me yesterday, she said that uh, it uh, they have to keep putting new batteries in. The batteries die off. And that's hilarious. It's monitoring my heart as we speak. Well, it was. And it's no longer doing such. But, uh, um, they had an alarm on the bed, so I couldn't get out the bed. And every time I did, because I'm hard headed, I just want to walk around. I don't like laying, I don't want to lay down. And it kept alarming, and then it kept calling me, What are you doing? <laughs> I think he's mad at me at this point. But, anyways, nah, um, I'm not trying to make light of the situation, but I'm definitely not stressing the situation. Um, um, by God's grace, I'm good. Um, not doing, not gonna do the whole Christian cliche things, but I can honestly say that I'm in good spirits because um, I'm resting in the Lord, not being funny or comical, just being honest. I'm really resting in the Lord. And um, I've had so much happen in this year. I mean, 2024 has really kicked me in the teeth, like literally, well, not literally, but you know what I'm saying? Like legit, um, if this is what they're saying it is, it'd be one of the things I just chalk up. Like I have never in my life been been ready for another year with the hope of that next year being a better year than the last year. This year has been, man. And, you know, I asked the lady, I said, do you think it's stress? And she said, um, stress does play a part. She said, but um, do you have a history of this? And I said, well, you know, my dad back in 2000, I think it's 16, he had 90% um, 90, 90 blockage and he had triple bypass surgery on his heart, obviously. Um, she said, okay, yeah, see, there might be a history there. So 
basically, long story short, they feel that there might be a history of um, heart attacks in my family. Um, I don't recall. I need to talk to my aunt and my mom. Um, yeah, I don't recall. I don't recall too many people dying from heart attacks. But I need to check. Um, and then also, so um, the stress that I've been going through. I've been going through a lot of personal stress um, with family. Uh, I'm making a trip this, the family's making a trip this Friday, going to Texas. Um, and that, that's weighing on me. It's a beautiful weighing, but it's weighing on me. Um, oh, it's a cold blue for, uh, yeah, got a little nervous, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so I just got a lot of stress going on this year. This year's been pretty rough for you, boy. It's been it's been pretty rough. Um, and honestly, I can say this with much confidence that it is the Lord who has kept me uh, this entire year. Um, I've had no choice but to rest in him, had no choice but to lean on him. And so I'm doing the same thing now. I'm, I'm resting in him, I'm leaning on him. You know, last night, my prayer was, Lord, you know, um, I know you're here. I know I'm not by myself. I know that you haven't forsaken me. I know that you're not mad at me. I know that you, I'm still your son. I'm still a believer. Um, I'm saved. I know whenever that day comes, I'll close my eyes for the last time. I will be in heaven with the Father and my Father. <laughs> and so I'm good. Now, I promise you, this is not a fake smile. It's not a, a cliche. Trust Jesus. You know, I'm legit, legit. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is real. Um, which brings me to this. And, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, this is turning this direction. My heart bleeds for those who don't believe or who once believed and no longer believe um my heart bleeds for them um i'm not uh, i'm not gonna make this video about that sorry but my prayer is that they, that the lord would um chase after them and, and bring them back to the fold but anyways just wanted to give you an update on what's going on um like i said some people know a lot don't know so um yeah but just keep me in prayer you know just keep me in prayer um and man lord willing i will make another video or you'll see it on facebook you know i don't you know everything's gravy um I, you know hey <laughs> we just gonna trust the lord man i let him do what he do and honestly and I, I don't say this to be morbid so please no one take this the wrong way but i'm Although far from Paul, I'm like Paul, where if, you know, I go today, that's a win. If if I stay here, that's also a win. I'm, either way, if I die today or if I live for 50 million more years, either way, it's a win because the Lord is with me. Like, I'm, I'm with the I'm with the Lord. The Lord is with me, regardless of the outcome of today, and that's real. That's real. Like I, that's real. Regardless how this ends, I am good because God is good. He sent His Son to die. God the Father sent God the Son to die, and then God the Holy Spirit is my guarantee. It's the guarantee I have that my salvation is legit. I win. <laughs> and y'all have a good one. Love y'all.